It's the Carillon Cup Championships at all seasons ice rink, and the Warriors are the defending champs of the cup. They come into this game 11-3, while their opponents, the Nequa Valley Wildcats, sit at 11-5. We jump right into the first period of action with under six minutes to play. Nequa's Carter Crokin makes one good save, and then another glove save to keep the game scoreless after a few Warrior attempts. Still in the first period, just a minute later. The puck finds its way in front of the net to Nico's Jake Haggerty, but his shot gets soaked up by Daniel Legger. Still nothing on the board with four minutes left in the first. These two teams know each other pretty well. Into the second period, Tony Campi springs the puck over the blue line and fires a shot that is snagged by the glove of Crokin. Still nothing on the board. Warriors still on the offensive with under a minute to play in the second period. Alex Wilder finds the puck in the face-off circle and lets one loose, but Crokin with the quick glove reaction keeps the zeros on the board. But with 10 seconds left in the second period, the Warriors find success. After the puck bounces around in front of the net, Alex Wilder picks it up and gives the Warriors the lead 1-0. We jump to the end of the third period and in the last minute. Nico's Joe Costello brings the puck over the Warrior line and drives hard to the net and then his teammate Jake Boudreau ties the game late after some chaos in front of the net. In overtime, tied at winds, Warrior and Wildcat go one-on-one, -on -one, and CJ Serko skates in and stick handles the puck past Broken to help the Warriors win the Carolina Cup, defending their title 2-1. to one. Uh, We just kept our composure, and we knew that uh, we were in a tight situation, but uh, the boys came together as a group, and we regrouped, and... Uh, Top guys on the ice and uh, blocked shots. Legier was great in net, and we just played our best game. Uh, coach, we called a timeout and kind of got the game plan dialed in, and then uh, I don't know. We executed the faceoff play perfectly. I skated in the other zone and uh, took it to the net, and I think one of our boys just buried it. All right, so um, obviously we're trying to get pucks on net, so it was really nice to have a couple guys in front of the nets, you know, like cover the goalie's eyes from what he's seeing and I just happened to get the puck and shoot and score so. Well we swapped sides on the overtime so I was by all the Nico fans so it was a little bit loud and I couldn't really talk to my defense and I couldn't really hear what they were saying but you know it was really just fun because there's you know there's nothing really like it I've never done it before. 